Maxwell Chikumbuzo self-powered superbike versus electric power bike. The breakdown they don't want you to hear. Everyone has been talking about Maxwell Chikumbuzo's self-powered car. They claimed it has a secret hidden batteries that no one has ever seen. But wait, if that is actually truth not destructive skepticism, how come the price tag of the entire car is not even up to a cost of replacing a lithium battery pack in average EV? Let that sink in for a while as I know you have been rubbed. Let's rewind the clock backwards a bit. Few years ago I made a shocking revelation about hidden agenda about aggressive push for EV that is far from saving the planet from green gases. But most of you didn't even bother to hear me out. However something happened a week ago that cooked the EV industries that I want to share a clip of it with you. Maybe you will say it's AI, or there is probably a glitch in the matrix as it sounds so unreal to coming from no other person but from the president of US himself. He make a shocking statement that pills off layers of lies begin the aggressive push for EV. Just carefully watch this clip and I will be right back afterwards. I terminated the ridiculous and incredibly wasteful Green New Deal. I call it the Green New Scam withdrew from the one-sided Paris Climate Accord and ended the insane and costly electric vehicle mandate. We're going to let people buy the car they want to buy. I declared a national em energy emergency, and that's so important, national energy emergency to unlock the liquid gold under our feet and pave the way for rapid approvals of new energy infrastructure. The United States has the largest amount of oil and gas of any country on Earth, and we're going to use it. Not only will this reduce the cost of virtually all goods and services, it will make the United States a manufacturing superpower and the world capital of artificial intelligence and crypto. You heard him right. He was addressing huge concerning issues before he made that statement. Believe it on, not I saw it coming years before now. Let's shift gears to uncomfortable territory, shall we? The whispers, the rumors, the debates. People say, where's the proof? Where's the battery? They point to the $15,000 price tag Maxwell quoted for his self-powered car and scoff. But here is where it gets interesting. $15,000 in today's electric vehicle market doesn't even buy you a replacement battery pack for most mainstream EVs. You heard me right. For most EVs on the road right now, a battery replacement alone costs more than Maxwell's entire car. Take the BYD SU7, for example. The company that shook the world with its blade battery. The chemistry that changed everything. BYD's technology pushed the limits of lithium iron phosphate, offering stability, longevity, and faster charging. Their flagship electric sedan sits at a whopping $150,000 price tag. And yes, its range from 0 to 25 minutes of ultra-fast charging is 1,000 kilometers. Impressive? Absolutely. A lifetime future for Africa if deployed correctly? Without a doubt. But here is where it gets interesting again. That $150,000 isn't just the cost of innovation. It's a product of Western currency manipulation and economic stampede. It's the financial chokehold that keeps Africa in the passenger seat while the West drives off with the spoils. But this video isn't just about economics. This is about a revolution on two wheels. Let's look at the average electric motorcycle. Not even a superbike. The typical electric street bike you see on the road. It's basically a frame wrapped around a chunky lithium battery. You can spot the pack sticking out like a tumor under the seat or strapped to the chassis. Now imagine what it takes to make an electric superbike. The energy demands explode. The weight balloons. You'd need to tow a mini shipping container full of lithium cells just to sustain a race-level performance over real distances. In electric cars, the entire drivetrain, under the chassis, under your feet, beneath the seats, is one massive lithium battery pack. The very floor of your car is a battery. Now pause. Take a second look at Maxwell Chikumbuzo's self-powered superbike. This isn't a glorified e-bike with
with a hidden lithium lump. This isn't a zero emissions prototype chained to a wall socket. This is a machine that appears to violate every established norm of energy storage and conversion. The anomaly roasting every engineer's brain. The ghost in the machine that defies the physics of conventional electric mobility. At this juncture, not even Elon Musk, with his half-trillion-dollar net worth and SpaceX rockets, has rolled out a consumer product that can rival what Maxwell claims to have built. That's not hyperbole. That's reality. Maxwell's bike is not just a tech product. It's a paradigm rupture. Here is where it gets interesting again. The late Dr. Carter G. Woodson, the black American scholar and author, said it plainly in his 1933 classic, The Miseducation of the Negro. If you can control a man's thinking, you don't have to worry about his actions. Woodson warned that when a people are miseducated, they become self-limiting. They will seek out the back door on their own without needing to be pushed. They will cross oceans to do minor jobs for other nations, thinking that's the only way to be useful to society. Meanwhile, the real knowledge, the transformative knowledge, stays behind ivy-covered walls at MIT and Harvard. Shared but diluted, never as potent as the indigenous knowledge Africa once had before Europe came in. And here is where you've been lied to. Nobody tells you what Africa was practicing before the Portuguese and Europeans arrived. Nobody hands you the book about Africa's original sciences, cosmologies, and technologies, the very religion that built the first temples, the first astronomical systems, the first energy practices. The knowledge was not primitive. It was advanced. It was industrial. It was sustainable. But the narrative was flipped, bleached, and demonized. Maxwell Chikumbuzo isn't just building bikes, he's tapping into a forgotten continuum. From every indication, Maxwell has become a citadel of knowledge, a living archive of what was stolen and suppressed. His secret lies not just in his workshop, but in the video about Africa's pre-colonial spiritual and technological systems, a must-watch if you want to understand why his machines seem to appear from another dimension. Maybe the awakening struck us. Maybe we've suddenly realized that Western miseducation was part of the chain. The religion was another. The politics, another. Look at Africa today. The few who are thriving are not reading or practicing what the miseducation of the Negro warned against. They're breaking the chains. Woodson's thesis was simple. If you control what a man reads, you don't need to worry about his future. So, brothers and sisters, we must, you know, identify the chains for what they truly are. They come in different shades, forms, sizes, and colors. They can be white or black. They can come from foreigners or even, well, from our own brothers. They can be embedded in children's learning videos, in video games, in TikTok challenges. But one pattern is consistent. The demonization of our heritage, the lowering of our self-powered ability, the bleaching of our melanin, the erosion of our core cultural values. And that's why Maxwell's self-powered superbike matters more than a machine. It's a symbol of uncolonized innovation. It's a mirror showing Africa what it's capable of once it stops begging for validation from the West. Now back to the racetrack. On paper, the electric superbike is heavy, expensive, and range-limited. It's the very image of progress chained to a charging station. Maxwell's bike, if verified, is light, affordable, and range unlimited. It breaks the mental chain that says energy must come from a grid controlled by someone else. Here is where it gets interesting for the last time. This isn't just about engineering. This is about narrative warfare. Whoever controls the story of energy controls the destiny of nations. The West tells Africa, you can't have nuclear power. They say, you must import our batteries. They say, you must borrow our loans. They build the chains, then sell you the keys. But Maxwell's bike is a glitch in their system, a prototype of sovereignty. So as you watch this, don't just see a bike, see a battlefield. Don't just see a price tag. 
see a prison break. If you want to hide anything from black people, hide it in a book, Woodson warned. And for decades, they did. But this time, we're reading our own blueprints. We're building our own machines. We're reclaiming our own frequency. That's why this video isn't just another review. It's an awakening. When I see the sun shining bright, I know I'll make it through. When I walk while others drive, I know I gotta make it too. When I drive while others fly, I know I'll still get there. I will make it through. No matter how hard things get, I swear. I came from where the rain don't stop and dreams rust slow. Where hunger paints the night and pain's the only glow I slept beside regrets and dined on broken hope Wore patience like armor when my soul couldn't cope Every loss was a lesson Dressed like disaster Every no was a sermon that made me grind faster They built walls I learned to climb with bleeding hands I turned ashes to maps Made dust understand If God wrote my story He used a knife for ink Every scar's a verse that made me stop and think They counted me out Counted the pain. Now I'm priceless metal forged in flame. When I see the sun shining bright, I know I'll make it through. When I walk while others drive, I know I gotta make it too. When I drive while others fly, I know I'll still get there. I will make it through. No matter how hard things get, I swear. They told me I was too late, too broke, too black, too bold But my wheels titanium wrapped in gold I've been the whispering storms that refuse to die The prayer that crawled when faith ran dry I've walked through envy, wearing truth as my chain Carry silence like thunder behind my name I've been hated by friends, loved by ghosts Betrayal became the wine I toast I don't chase success, I drag it home by the hair Bite fierce throat, tell life don't you dare Every night I lose sleep, I gain one more dream I'm the tear in the ocean that still makes it gleam When I see the sun shining bright, I know I'll make it through When I walk while others drive, I know I gotta make it too When I drive while others fly, I know I'll still get there I'm not chasing fame, I'm chasing peace of mind Cause gold chains break, purpose stays divine I've seen preachers lie, kings fall to greed And the poorest man rise just from a seed I came from the gutters, where miracles hide Where pain's the passport and hustle's the guide I made promises to graves that I'll never forget Every breath I take now pays my debt I walk like thunder, but I cry like rain Every victory's tattooed with pain If life's a war, then my scars are proof That I fought with my heart when I had no roof And when death comes smiling, I'll still break through Cause I was born to crawl till I learned to fly too When I see the sun shining bright, I know I'll make it through when I walk while others drive, I know I gotta make it too. I know I gotta make it too. When I drive while others fly, I know I still get there.